Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fourth and final battle of this epic matchup between Mussolini from the SOA clan and Zeke from the HOS clan. It's 2-1 to one up Mussolini in the score, and Zeke is now going to fight for a, a draw, which is the best thing he can do now. Uh, it's only four battles, and if he wins, then we draw, and it's one point for each. <clears throat> We're going to switch factions. We're going to see a uh, Mussolini using Scythia, and Zeke is going to be using Macedon. So let's see how this battle goes. And here we go. So let's look at the army. Six archers, gold gold for Mussolini. Two chosen archer warband, the elite archers, three upgrades. Six maidens, gold gold. A couple of peasants, a uh, couple of warhounds. I'll explain the use of warhounds in a second. And of course, the two horse archers. We got three upgrades for those. Uh, the Macedonian army of Zeke. We got six royal pikes, no upgrades at all but it's six royal pikes, six archers gold gold, uh, six companions, five upgrades, or six, it's six upgrades, no, it's five upgrades, just five upgrades for the companions, the general amongst them, and two Greek calf, five upgrades as well, loose formation for those just chasing the horse archers, but immediately pulling back because the maidens just came here to help. Anyways, uh, what's the use of these Warhounds? Uh, warhounds are probably best used when countering skirmish. They're ideal at throwing at them at horse archers, maybe chariot archers, definitely at militia calf. Um, you, if you throw those to them, they'll just chase them and actually kill a pretty good number of them if the player doesn't deal with them. The best way to deal with them is just have them um, <coughs> hit the front of your infantry. If you got spears, that's ideal. You know, like you just run your unit behind the spears, so these units just crash to the front of the spears and die. But, uh, I mean, that's their use. Just to... The, the important thing about them is that once you let them go, once you unleash them, they'll chase the unit until the very last dog dies. You lose control of them and they'll just keep chasing the unit and there's not a thing you or your opponent can do about it. I mean, your opponent can try to kill them, but that's it. And if he doesn't do with that, um, he's going to actually lose a plenty of, of, of light cav. And that's why you want to use this against light cav or light units. You don't want to throw this against, like, urbans or something like that, or cataphracts, because they they might kill one, if anything. And this unit is kind of expensive. It's not as cheap as you would think. It's like 650 denarii or something like that, 680 or something like that. So you do want to give some good use to it. And apparently uh, Mussolini is going to use them on the light cav. He's losing the peasants. Uh, Zeke is just going for a rush, it seems. He's just pushing forward. Mussolini's going to have to skirmish, and skirmish a lot, because there's a lot of pikes. And trying to get away of those, all those pikes is not going to be very, very easy. Um, the problem is that Zeke is exposing all his archers. They're just completely, completely out in the open. Just open for charges, and Mussolini could just take advantage of that and kill them as soon as he can. Zeke going also for a cavalry charge. He's splitting all his cavalry, going for individual targets. It might pay off if he catches them. Uh, he just wants to watch the maidens. You don't want to try to you don't want to get caught by the maidens, you know, like grouping against you, just blobbing all the maidens against you because uh companions will probably lose to the maidens in a melee fight. So there he goes using the, the charge bonus of the companions to kill the maiden. That's what you should do. Uh, Zeke's archers basically dead. There go two. The other three still alive. The other one is back there, just dead. So his archers pretty much were useless for this battle. He he didn't find a, such a good use for them. One of the companion cabs just getting raped. Like I was saying, uh, the maidens do a pretty good job at killing heavy cab. And here we're gonna see more fighting. Mussolini, I mean, Zeke just keeps pushing with the infantry, and some of the maidens getting caught in the back, the companions still sticking together, and that's the way to do it. Because if you can get a good charge on the maidens with two or three or four companions, you're just going to kill them out of the charge. And there goes a general for Scythia, and like always, actually, kind of bad luck for Mussolini there, because he lost that general in a charge against the archers. That's not very usual to see that you lose your general when charging archers, but he did and as always when you lose your general with a barbarian faction that's that's a certain mass route or very likely to be a, a mass route and thus it happened a lot of units for Scythia just uh, running away 
Zeke still pressing. He's getting very close to the red line, which is what he wants. He wants to push the archers to the red line so they can know they can go anywhere else and they have to engage in a melee fight and of course the Royal Pikes are gonna absolutely destroy them and obliterate them. And here the uh, the maidens getting caught with the pikes. He's gonna lose quite some maidens. Zeke making a great use of the pikes, just uh, reforming that pike, making sure all the spears are always lowered. And there goes the general. There goes another unit. So Mussolini just admits defeat. There was really not too much he could do. It was a great push by Zeke. Because not only did he push with a lot of infantry, but he managed his cavalry well enough to pick isolated units for Scythia. And, you know, with that uh, added to... I mean, I could, I'm just going to say it's luck, because there's really not a whole lot you can do when your general dies charging archers. That's just bad luck, but hey, even uh, great generals need luck sometimes, so... As it goes, favor uh, luck favors the bold. And that's a clear example of this battle. So I think that's going to be it. Everybody admitted defeat. And there it goes. Though so Zeke managed to tie it up to uh, two and two, so he gets a draw out of this matchup. Great, great battles by these two players. Always, always a pleasure to see them go at each other. It's a draw, very fair. One point for each. We'll have some more battles from both players. We have actually I have already have some more replays for Zeke. Hopefully Mussolini will send me more replays so we can see the top players go at each other in this CCL league, which has been a total success. So do please keep watching the videos, keep posting replays, keep playing if you're one of the players, and keep following us. I'll leave all the links you need to know right here in the description of the video. Same thanks for watching. See you in the next video.